A few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid are added to the equilibrium mixture. What effect does this addition have on the mass of CaOH2? Choose from increases, decreases, or remain or remains the same. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, HCl um, gives us H plus plus Cl minus, right? Uh, so what is going to happen here is that the H plus and the OH minus will react. And then as they react, it means that the amount of OH minus goes down. If the amount of OH minus goes down, then the system will want to reinstate a new equilibrium by opposing the change, right? By favoring the reaction that opposes the change. So since the amount of OH minus is decreasing, uh, the system is actually going to favor the forward reaction so that OH- minus can increase as it is uh, decreasing. So, what is the equation saying? What effect does this addition have on the mass of CaOH2? Well, it decreases. It decreases. And then 6.1.3 is saying let's use Lechardia's principle to explain the answer to 6.1.2, which I just did. H plus will react with OH minus. Uh, the amount of OH minus, the concentration decreases. If it decreases, the system wants to reinstate a new equilibrium by favoring a reaction that opposes the change. Hence, forward reaction is going to be favored. The mass of CaOH2 will decrease. That is 6.1. Uh, 6.2. Initially, 70 grams of NH4HS is placed in a 3 decimeter cube container at 250 degrees Celsius. The container is sealed and the reaction is allowed to reach equilibrium according to the balance equation. The KC values for the decomposition of NH4HS at different temperatures is given in the table below. 6.2.1 is the decomposition of NH4HS an exothermic or anothermic reaction. So let's take a look at the table that we have. As the temperature increases, the KC increases. KC increasing implies that the products, the amount of products is increasing. If the amount of products is increasing, then the forward reaction is favored. So let's take a look at what causes an increase in the KC. An increase in temperature is causing an increase in the KC. So that tells us that the decomposition of NH4HS is an endothermic reaction because we know that an endothermic an increase in temperature favors an endothermic reaction. And clearly here, when the temperature is increased, the forward reaction is, is favored, uh, leading to an increase in the KC. Uh, 6.2.2, we're supposed to explain that using Lichardt's principle, which I just did. And then 6.2.3, calculate the mass of NH4HS that will be present at equilibrium at 250 degrees Celsius. So let's stick to the basics. We need our table. All right. Um, so rice, you know, some people call it, uh, seems to be popular. Let's just go with that. So this is NH4HS, NH3H2S. So we want to calculate the mass. We're given the KC. So we need to fill the table and set up a KC uh, expression substitute and we're going to have the mass. So initially, the mass of NH4CS is 70 grams. Um, I don't want to substitute 70 grams there. I want to substitute the number of moles. So I want the number of moles of NH4CS um let me take out my periodic table uh nh4 hs so i already have five hydrogens uh one nitrogen which is 14 plus sulfur which is 32 so the molar mass is 51 so i have 70 over 51 which is 1.3725 I want my answer to be as accurate as possible, so I'm going to leave it at uh, four decimals, uh, which I always advise 
um trying to do something here but it's not working oh, okay where's my table All right let's carry on um so that is the mess we have initially sealed so we have zero zero four nh3 and h2s and then oh okay i'm supposed to have the ratio actually there and not these numbers 1.3725 1.3725 0 0 is there yeah i'm supposed to have the ratio of which is the balancing coefficient 1 1 1 so the change here would be minus x here it will be plus x here it will be plus x as you know it decomposes so at equilibrium would have 1.3725 minus x this is x this is x um i would give in the volume uh let me check uh the volume is three decimeter cube uh, okay so the concentration we just divide by the volume right um divided by three divided by three divided by three okay so that's what we have uh we can set up kc then okay so kc is equals to nh4 <laughs> hs is a solid so we're gonna have nh3 h2s and then in place of nh4 hs that is gonna be one yeah that's what we do so the kc at 250 degrees Celsius is 18 times 10 to the minus 2 and that is equals to oh well x over 3 x over 3 All right so we're gonna have 18 times 10 to the minus 2 being equals to x squared over 9 right so 18 times 10 to the minus 2 multiplied by 9 1.62 so 1.62 is equals to x squared so square root on both sides x is equals to 1.2728 what uh moles yes moles so that is x so at equilibrium we're looking for the mass of nh4 at equilibrium so the number of moles at equilibrium we have 1.3725 minus 1.2728 um 1.3725 uh the answer is 0 0.0997 moles at equilibrium so the mass therefore right uh, just substitute there so multiplied by the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass what is the molar mass again uh i forgot okay but it's fine i'm just gonna add uh, nitrogen is 14 5 hydrogens uh that is five and then sulfur is 32 and the mass at equilibrium it's 5.0 nine grams